the millionaire lifestyle of Alex Morgan. Women's soccer is still a young sport. The first Women's World Cup wasn't held until 1991. However, during that time, America has managed to win four of the nine World Cups. This includes both the last two. Despite a recent coach shakeup, America seems poised to win their fifth gold medal in seven Olympic tournaments. The U.S. women's national team has dominated the sport for almost its entire existence, and it's worth taking a look at how its star players, including Alex Morgan, got to where they are. In this video, we'll be giving you an exclusive look inside Alex Morgan's millionaire lifestyle. Without wasting any more time, let's get on into today's video. Endorsements and Earnings Now back at Orlando Pride, Morgan earns a reported salary of $450,000 a year, and in 2015, she was ranked by Time Magazine as the highest paid U.S. women's soccer player. However, Lloyd currently earns more than her U.S. WNT teammate at the club level with a reported annual salary of $518,000 at NWSL side New Jersey, New York, Gotham. Chelsea's Sam Kerr is second on the list between Lloyd and Morgan with a reported wage of $500,000 a year at Chelsea. Much of Morgan's earnings have come from endorsements and sponsorships. The double World Cup winner has made cameos in various television shows and even featured in Maroon 5's 2018 music video for the single Girls Like You. She was also featured on the US version of the video game FIFA 16 alongside Leo Messi and has been a regular in magazines including Sports Illustrated and ESPN magazine. Morgan has also produced a series of books for schools, The Kicks, and has served as a UNICEF Children's Ambassador and an envoy with the US State Department's Sports Diplomacy Office in Tanzania. She and USWNT teammate Megan Rapinoe were also the first two females to sign up for Juan Mata's Common Goal Initiative, which asks players to donate 1% of their salary to charity. Alex Morgan does have her endorsement deals that would also bring in some income. She works closely with Nationwide, Nike, Coca-Cola, Panasonic, and Bridgestone. Forbes revealed that she was the only top 10 woman athlete who wasn't a tennis player and that she has a massive endorsement portfolio worth 10 times as much as a roughly $400,000 on-field salary and bonus last year. Going on to say, she has more than a dozen current sponsors, including Volkswagen and AT&T. Her latest is an Alex Morgan Barbie doll, as part of the brand's role model series. Morgan also established a soccer camp in partnership with the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and she was one of the first players to join Juan Mata's Common Goal charity. The star player also donated 1% of her total winnings to soccer charities, according to USA Today. While she may be one of the highest paid soccer players, there's still quite a noticeable salary gap that fans are hoping will be closed in the near future. With such a good amount of earnings, it's no doubt that Alex Morgan has been able to afford luxury cars and sophisticated houses. However, she puts a big chunk of her earnings on a certain business venture. Let's take a look at that business venture. When soccer fans think of the biggest soccer stars in the United States, they immediately think of Alex Morgan. She's not only proven to be one of the most talented athletes in the world, but she has also worked hard to ensure that female athletes in America receive the same opportunities that men do. Morgan's new business venture has only continued that mission too. While there are multiple media companies founded by male athletes, like LeBron James' Uninterrupted, none have elevated the voices and told the stories of women athletes until now. Alex Morgan has been one of the biggest soccer stars in America throughout the past decade. She's a two-time FIFA World Cup champion and an Olympic gold medalist. Her superstardom throughout the soccer world has helped her to rack up an estimated $3 million net worth, too, per celebrity net worth. Now she's using part of that net worth to elevate the voices of female athletes. Morgan, as well as WNBA star Sue Bird, Olympic gold medalist swimmer Simone Manuel, and Olympic gold medalist snowboarder Chloe Kim, recently founded Together, a media company that will tell women's stories, inside and outside of sports. This is going to be something that really breaks barriers, Morgan said, according to the New York Times. Something that creates a community and a platform, from female athletes, for female athletes, that has never been done before. It appears that Together is already proving to be a valuable opportunity for women, one they have never had before. And if one thing is for certain, especially when looking at companies similar to Together, Morgan, Bird, Manuel, and Kim have a chance to make this business extremely successful. According to Forbes, LeBron James and his childhood friend and business partner Maverick Carter launched Uninterrupted in 2014. It has successfully told the stories of athletes from their perspectives ever since too. James was one of the first athletes to really do this. Derek Jeter came out with the Players' Tribune around that same time, and Kevin Durant has since launched 35 Ventures. None of them solely focus on telling women's stories, though. Alex Morgan and her fellow star female athletes are now doing just that, and they're making history while doing it. So there you have it, Alex Morgan, the athlete, the entrepreneur, and philanthropist. Well, that's all for today's video. Let us know what your thoughts are by commenting below and hitting that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well. 
And if you'd like to be notified when our next video drops, hit that notification bell icon and we will let you know. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.